Did you know that you have to change your shoes, man? Two days and twos are out. Well, we got them. These are the new Crusher ANC XT2. There they are. The aux and the USB to C. So it's time to just use these things. All right, we've been using them for about a couple weeks now. Let's get into it. Pretty similar to the Crusher Evos and the previous model of these, all plastic design. Got a mix of shiny and matte black plastic. Button controls on both the right and left ear cups. For the most part, they work good enough, but I'll be talking about this guy in a second. USB-C charging, there's an aux port. They come in at around 330 grams, so they're not the lightest plastic headphones ever, but the new and improved fabric squishy headband does a good job at distributing the weight. This was a huge upgrade to the Evos. These are a lot more comfy. I'm not getting that pressure point I was talking about before but because it's fabric I'm a little more concerned about the sweat and water resistance so I'll pass it off to Ben for a quick gym test holy stink Rooney it's one of the hottest days too so this will actually be a good test it's saying 34 degrees Celsius that's hot two hours later ears a bit red they're a bit hot but it's also hot out for you sweaty people out there I just be careful give them a good wipe down after take care of them should be fine. Basically just proceed with caution, take care of them, wipe them down after some heavy use. The ear pads are quite squishy and big, still no nice and easy way to replace them when they get worn down. In terms of how they look on your head, I find they're not bad, they're pretty good. They'd stick out a bit. The ear cups rotate, not a full 180, maybe 160 degree swivel. So good enough to just plop them down on your shoulder. As well, they got that foldable design. Good for putting in the hard shell fabric case that they got, which I really like. It's got a good zipper. It's got some good texture to it. it. Feels like it's actually gonna protect them. Only complaint is no mesh thing to put your cables or anything you got in there. They just kind of live right here. You can put them in this little indent. And for glasses people or fakes like me who just wear blue light glasses in hopes that it actually does something for your eyes, these fit well. You can totally wear glasses with these. There's not too much squeeze. Coming from the Evos, these are just a big jump in comfort level, which I truly appreciate. Let's start off with what they do have. 50 hours of battery life, which is pretty insane, and a standard 10 minute little quick charge gets you four hours of playback. That crusher bass. This is the main selling point of these headphones. By now you're probably familiar with what this is. It's Skull Candy's way of destroying your hearing, but in a fun way. They got vibration motors built into these things to shake and have you actually feel the bass within the song. It works well, very similar to the Evos except for this thing. On the Crusher Evos, you have a limited dial, which easily lets you tell how much extra bass you've added with the ANC 2s. To change the Crusher bass levels, you either click in the slider to go up by increments and have a robotic voice say, Crusher, 50%, and temporarily muting your music for a few seconds. It's pretty annoying. Or you increase and decrease the bass by just rolling the slider up or down. But since it's an infinite slider, it can just keep spinning. You can't really tell where or how much bass you've added. You can really only feel it, or when you hit the max amount of crusher you can add, it kind of beeps. And then it mutes your music for a few seconds. It's just really awkward. For me, it's just one of those, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. With the Evo's way of doing it, I thought it was great. But it still works though, plenty of headache inducing bass. They got active noise cancellation, which does a pretty good job. Not the best ever made, but it gets the job done. There's a little bit of a white noise hiss when nothing's playing. My music is playing, I'm not hearing it, but it is a bit more noticeable than other headphones. On the flip side, they got a transparency mode or a stay aware mode. These do an all right job. You can definitely hear some of your surroundings. It's just a bit more muffled than I like. And you might need to turn down your volume a lot if you're trying to carry on a conversation without on the squinty listening face. I can't hear you, dude. But having some kind of transparency mode is better than not, so. There's a whole new app now called Skull IQ. Inside, you can adjust your personalized sound. You got custom EQ, so you can fully personalize your sound on your own. There's multi-point, let's go. You can connect to an iPad and an iPhone at the same time and swap between them. And then there's this voice control feature, which is honestly, it surprised me how well it worked. Hey Skull Candy, Spotify. There you go. Hey Skull Candy, take photo. <laughs> really responsive. I'd say it's best when you're chilling alone in a quiet environment. It doesn't really work too well when it's in a loud public place. And they've got a built-in tile in case you lose it somewhere. And now for what it's missing. No auto pause, so when you take it off your head, the music's just gonna keep playing. 
And that's about it. They offer quite a bit in terms of features and personalization options. Is it gimmicky? Is some of the stuff things you won't use? That's up for you to decide. Bluetooth test. Phone's there. Right here. About the same as the Evos. Use them powered down with the aux or turn them on to activate all the noise cancellation modes while they're plugged in. There's a definite emphasis on the low end, which can cause some muddiness in songs that I want to be a bit more clear and sharp. Great for hip hop and bass heavy songs though. They don't feel as spacious as I like, but there's a good separation between instruments. The Crusher bass adds the vibration and feeling of the bass. Obviously it starts overwhelming the other frequencies, but isn't that the point? This is for the bass. Lovers, the bass heads. You ain't buying these things to casually listen to some high quality Billie Eilish vocals. And while you still can and the vocals are gonna sound good enough, you're not buying these things for a complete accurate audiophile sound. They're meant to shatter your skull. And you gotta take that for what it is. If you really like bass, you're gonna enjoy these things. The only thing I would say is that Sometimes the Crusher bass dips out a bit when the bass is really low. Sometimes even the Crusher bass doesn't even know what to do. So there is a tiny bit of inconsistency on when the Crusher bass comes in, but most of the time she's working good. She's hyping you up at the gym. She's making rap songs sound like you're really at a concert. I also like them for gaming. The noise cancellation gets you more immersed. Mixed with the Crusher bass, it adds just a bit more depth to your gunshots. They worked fine with podcasts and audiobooks, especially when you go into the app and press that podcast EQ. It kind of cuts out some of that low end and clarifies the voice a bit. All right, this is a microphone test for the Crusher ANC2s. So these bad boys come in at $230 American or about 300 Canadian. So I'd say the target audience is people trying to save some money on some active noise cancellation headphones compared to the competition that's out there and just absolute bass lovers. When they come together, I'd say that's your ideal person who should be shopping for these. And if you fall into either one of those categories or if you're this person in the middle, you should go for them. Cause you're gonna have a hard time finding more bass for your buck with uh, all the features that these offer, the decent comfort level, build quality. You'd be pretty hard pressed to find many better options within this niche. I'm enjoying myself using these. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I hope this helped you with your decision making or if you've enjoyed the video, consider dropping a like. Farewell.